Hey everyone, so in this video, um, I'm actually doing a collab with um, Dolphin Kitty World, so if you want to see her side, uh, uh, her video, then you can see a link in the description. So yeah, here we go. So, um, I'm just going to be telling you the story of how I got into hermit crabs, and, um, you know, like my first hermit crab, how I found out about them, you know, just things like that. So yeah, uh, one second, okay. <laughs> okay, so, um... Yeah, so the first thing is, um, I really wanted a pet when I was, like, really little, like, six or seven, maybe it was, and we, my parents said, no gerbils, no hamsters, nothing with fur, no birds, she, everything was either too smelly, too big, too much money, just <laughs> everything, there was an excuse, even fish, like, it was, like, something, like, you have to change out their water too much or something, it was ridiculous. Well, ridiculous to me. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, and, uh, sorry, if you hear anything in the background, that's my gerbils. Then my her my parents were like, yeah, maybe a hermit crab, but then, like, I mean, I guess I just kind of forgot about it. Everyone didn't really even think about it. I mean, we had this, like, hermit crab, pa like, pamphlet or whatever, you know, like, with facts or whatever and pictures, like, on our, on, a uh, our counter for like a year or something because <laughs> and I never even read it I knew like literally nothing about hermit crabs and um then one day we were at the mall and I see all these hermit crabs and uh they actually all have painted shells which is really sad and everything but um yeah uh so anyway so we just stood there watching them for like five minutes and the guy that was working there was like oh yeah 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 he talked like this no offense anyway he was all like oh yeah pick up one put it in the box and he was like in, like giving us all these discounts and stuff and i was like mom what do you think blah, blah, blah. and then she was like i don't know and then he kept going down so low on the price that my mom was finally like uh, okay so i got like everything for forty dollars which was pretty ridiculous i mean the hermit crab itself was like twenty dollars uh, she, her name was Ella. She came in the painted shell. It was white and green. I actually might have it. I think I'll show you it real quick. Here it is. Uh, she was like a medium-sized hermit crab. Uh, when she died, she died in like a natural shell. Um, she, I had her a long time. Two years. I mean, I, I think that's pretty long. Uh, I know a lot of people, some people have had their hermit crabs <laughs> way longer, but, um, yeah. So, anyways... So yeah, uh, Ella, she um, ended up passing away, but that's how I first got my hermit crab, and then I came home, we knew literally nothing about hermit crabs, like, sh we came home with one of the little critter carriers or whatever, it was a small one, like, it was mainly just a traveling case, and then we s googled them, you know, immediately, and then I started finding out about the humidity, and I was like, oh no, and I was like so upset, because I was like, she's gonna die, it's not, the, the temperature's not right, and Ella was only in that carrier for maybe two days or something like that um it was only it wasn't too long because then my mom went to the store and she got me the tank she actually bought it uh it's actually the five gallon that um uh, uh my beta fish jamie's in right now so yeah uh but then i still didn't know much about hermit crabs like i didn't know that pan shells were bad for them at the time and she was the only one living like, she was the only one I had for, like, her whole life, until she died, and then I, it was so sad, it was horrible, because that was actually, she was actually my first pet, well, second pet, but that's a different story, um, anyway, so, yeah, it was so bad, I, I don't know why I didn't research, I mean, I was little, I didn't really know about that kind of thing, and, um, yeah, so, I don't know, I just felt really bad. But after she died, I ended up getting two more hermit crabs, which is Paris and France. France ended up dying, but I still have, uh, I mean, Fran yeah, France ended up dying, but I still have Paris. I had her, like, a few months. And then that's when I finally started learning about hermit crabs, and um, I started loving them. Like, I found out, like, all the carriers doing wrong, and I felt so bad about Ella and everything. But, I mean, you learn from your mistakes, and... So, yeah, I mean, Ella was amazing. She was so sweet, so kind. Like, she never pinched me, nothing. She never, I mean, she was, like, really sweet. She really trusted me, always was out. Um, but, yeah. Now, though, I am so into hermit crabs. I love them so much. I have, like, I have, uh, seven of them. <laughs> and, yeah, I mean, they're just so amazing. They're great pets, great just, I mean, everything. I mean, I just learned so much more. Now I have the correct proper heat and everything. And, I mean, bigger tank, 20 gallon. Um, 
I still want to get a bigger tank, but yeah. Anyway, so yeah, now that's how I got into hermit crabs. I just, it was like crazy long process and hermit crabs really started, like really started my whole pet thing because now I'm obsessed with like all pets, not even just hermit crabs. Now my, my parents no gerbils whole thing is like so not even. <laughs> Now I have like gerbils and fish, like a whole bunch, and so yeah, I mean, it just turned out great. Hermit crabs really started everything for me, and I just love them so much. So yeah, and that's my story of how I got into hermit crabs. Uh, please comment yours, I'd love to hear all your stories, and yeah, don't forget to uh, check out Dolphin Kitty World's video on her channel, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed this claw video and everything, and yeah, uh, by the way, this this video was starring Legacy, Blue, and Rivers. So yeah, bye.